A guy named, I can't even pronounce his name. Wow. Of course not. Camo Cambone? <laughs> it's a cartoon character. I swear to God. Stop it. President of Black <laughs> Nefficient Books on C-SPAN. Camo Cambo, have you heard? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell name that is? That's how he spelled it out for me. Camo, C-A-M-M-O, right? Yeah. Oh, Camo as a camouflage. Maybe. Yeah. And Cambone. Ah. And he was on, um, uh, I don't know, He was uh, he's president of Black Nefficient Books on C-SPAN. And he was yeah. talking shortly after Hurricane Katrina. Oh, that's legitimate. He had some things to say about Whitey. Let's hear this. No, Steve. Well, we'll start playing it. But what I want to say is that there are two things going on on the planet now. One is that when white people came to us and said, we're going to free you, we're going to emancipate you from the plantation, what they did was extended the boundaries of the plantation and made it an international plantation. He's on to us. Made us think that we were free. In addition to that, they made every white, per every white person on earth a plantation master or owner. I didn't get my card. So there are two things in operation. We are in an international prison. It's not just in America, but everywhere we go, our people are dying. So the things that are in operation on this planet is that white people want to kill us. I want you to understand that. They want to kill you. And it has nothing to do with what the kind of degree you have, what kind of car you have, what kind of title you have, what fraternity you belong to, what religion you belong to. They want to kill you mm -hmm. because that is part Say of their it. plan. Mm -hmm. Say it. There are any Say number of reasons you. why they want to do that. Preach. I'm not going to waste my time trying to figure out why they want to kill us. But I know that's what they want to do. And they want to do it in many different ways. Psychological, economic, cultural, spiritual, social, and biological, chemical, electromagnetic. They want to kill Not electromagnetic. You. But That's they also want to make pro make money in the process of your death. Shit. Now I saw a brother when I was a coming and he was smoking a cigarette. So now he's going to kill himself, but they're going to make money off of his death process. Thank God, no one white smokes. Oh, that was talking about that was talking about AIDS right there. Was See? that the AIDS? Oh, that's the conspiracy. Yeah, to I've make heard money that off of killing us by yeah. putting things in um in our like certain there's certain drinks that they only sell to us. Uh-huh. You know, anything that has a lot of colors and call it, you know, funk funky uh. doogie drink like Honey Child Pop Soda, that's trying to kill us. The Any balls are just putting the name right there in Kool Aid. It's like it's cool, baby. It's like it's got AIDS. <laughs> it's got the word AIDS right cool in it. Cool AIDS. <laughs> it's like almost AIDS. But don't you guys got your black scientists that will take all these products and take a look, make sure everything's George already Washington up and up. Carver. You see what y'all made him? Y'all made him into a nut. Damn this this goofy nigga with the peanuts. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Other guys just are working on everything we do. It, look, at, I don't find. Look, at, first of all, Dude, I we don't, don't have time, man. We just want to feed our own family. Really, you work from going? seven to eleven. You don't have time to destroy the black man. The fuck no. At twelve thirty, after you take a nap, you don't think of nothing to do. <laughs> Hell I'm no. home. I can't <laughs> even do it from my home base. We don't have enough time, man. You guys are overthinking this crap. I don't know. We're just trying to survive too. Well, you you're low level white people. Yeah. You're like you're not on the on the uh, radar of the white people that are actually doing it. All right, we're yeah, not in one of those square states. We but he said every white guy, you know, is in the yeah, club. Every white guy. We're you all in the so? club. Hell no, man. You know, <laughs> that fucking all whitey wants is to get laid and get a sandwich. That's uh, all yeah. we want. Man. I, I we don't, don't believe have in all the scenes. I don't, think about I don't give crap. white people that much credit that that they can destroy my life unless they shoot me like somebody else. But mm -hmm. that they they can is a master plan. Yeah. But yeah. you know, I, I I wish it was. I just wish everything. I just try to turn everything into blaming white man for some reason. Yeah. I I, I want to. It just it's fun to do. Is it fun for you guys? Well, because the New Orleans thing, I was arguing with Keith, you know, yeah. Keith Robinson, and he's like, you sell out motherfucker. But I said, listen, Keith, you got to understand, Keith, I want to blame white people for Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. I just want to. But how do you, I'm like, look, would, if that was a bunch of white people in New Orleans and that happened, I mean, first of all, it's just Mother Nature was involved right. with that. So it's like, how Mother Nature didn't, didn't pick 
yeah. the place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but so, we knew that should be an area to to put the less fortunate. <clears throat> I thought it goes back to what we talked we about earlier. We put the, in the black league. people there. The less fortunate, the poorer people, you give them the, the, the worst areas in your city. You get a good view in Harlem. You get a good view uptown. But but New Orleans was destroyed. A, a Bourbon Street was destroyed. That was No, a, yeah. Bourbon Street wasn't as affected as people say. It was that Ninth Ward yeah. there. Damn it. Yeah. The Ninth Ward was near the levees where, you know. But who put the black people there? Uh, it just the has. black people put the black people. Opie there. knows, you know. Opie, you higher on He's the higher level than, than I am. <laughs> I what that. happened? Tell me, man. Let me I, live at least. <laughs> I, I get the memo. Help, help I get the out. memo. <laughs> wow, here's it's a big a memo. You think one of those big, memos would get out? Here's a big surprise. I flubbed the line, Jerry. <laughs> the name of the company that the guy owns is Blacknificent Books, not Blacknificent. Oh, I'm sorry, Blacknificent. Black Blacknificent. All right, thank like you, magnificent. Jerry. Sorry about that. No surprise that I flubbed the line, though. All right, want to do a little more of this guy? This guy's angry. The other thing is that they want us to, if they don't kill us, like they tried to kill the brother by beating him up in New Orleans, if they don't kill us that way, or shooting like they killed the brother in Cincinnati, or like they killed Malice Green mm -hmm. in Detroit, mm -hmm. or like they killed Greenwich up in Pittsburgh, yeah. if they don't come out right and kill us straight, they want to get us to kill ourselves. Now, these are the only nah. two operations on the planet. That's right. The other thing is that there's only one nigger on the planet. I never use that word. This is the first time I've used it. I don't even think that word. But there's only one nigger on the planet. And the nigger that's on the planet is the one that is destroying the water, the one that's polluting the air, the one that is exploiting people and resources. And the only nigger on the planet is the white man and the white woman. And then our people are not niggers. We are imitation niggers. Imit what the, what? Who the what? I don't the? even know what that means. Shut up, nigger. <laughs> I know. Shut <laughs> the fuck. You know, you two niggas, <laughs> shut your fucking niggery mouths, you, you know, two coons. We Good. can say that. You can. <laughs> That's right. You don't understand the struggle. You know. Wow, this guy is really turning some shit around. Wow, how do you turn that around? <laughs> niggas, shut up. How do you know you turn around? How the hell do you turn that Watch one around? Ass, uh, porch monkey, keep wow. your fucking nigger. I, this guy's brilliant. I give the guy a lot of credit, but I don't see that catching on. Genius. <laughs> I, am, oh yeah. Genius. I don't see that one catching on. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> now, when wow. you say that, is it the N-I-G-G-A or the E-R? Sometimes if it's the E-R, we're going to have a problem if I'm saying, here. If I'm saying it, and I'm, the con and I'm using it in the context, I'm saying it with an A. Right. When I'm copying a white person saying it, I use the E-R. Right. When, I'm, when I'm pretending to be a yeah. white guy saying the word nigga. So oh, you guys are giving us way too much credit. I don't give you none. Like I, I, I tend to believe it, it, it is. It's a, it's a social thing. It's a money thing. I don't think people with money even give a shit. They worrying about their mm -hmm. pool being clean. Right, they worrying right. about it. I, that's what I'm what saying. About it's their all doors being delivered for poor cars. people. It's, it's a trick. Racism is a trick against poor white people. It's to keep them focused that they should be a certain level in life because mm -hmm. they're white and it's the niggas' fault. And the white people that want to keep everything to themselves, make they have to keep poor white people thinking that they should be, like, something just because they're white. More entitled. More <laughs> entitlement. All right, we're running out of show. One more clip from this guy. We need one idea. And we're not thinking about a solution to the problem. We're dealing with all these other things, but these are diversions from the solution to the problem. And we have to start to think about a solution to the problem so that these young brothers and sisters who are here now, who are 15, 16, and 17, are not here 25 years later talking about these same problems. Now, how do I know that the white people know that we are going to come up with a solution to the problem? I know it because they have retina scans, they have what they call racial profiling, DNA banks, and they're monitoring our people to try to prevent the one person from coming up with the one idea. And the one idea is how we are going to exterminate white people because that, in my estimation, is the only conclusion I have come to. We wow. have to exterminate white people off of the face of the planet to solve this problem. That gets an applause break. I don't care whether you clap or not, but I'm saying to you, 
that we need to solve this problem because they are going to kill us. And I will leave on that. So That's we have to just set statement. up our own system and stop playing and get very serious and not be diverted from coming up with a solution to the problem. And the problem on the planet is white people. Hmm. Wow. Now what you dead niggas got to say about that? <laughs> You niggas are finished. Oh, oh man, that guy's scary though. Mm. Like mm. he's talking, mm. like he's reasonable. And I'll tell you why he's scary. To he'll be scary to all white people because he's yeah. not sounding. He's not all. And we all right. read that, brother. He's talking all say, reasonable. Oh shit, we gonna kill a number yeah. of fucking hunky. He's saying, you know, uh, we must exterminate what, white people. Can I have one of those delicious cream puffs over there? <laughs> <laughs> and now I will explain why <laughs> we must exterminate. He's all rational. I have my ten point plan. <laughs> this guy's like <laughs> fucking organized. <laughs> What I like your, how we got an applause break. For what, the, would you, uh, what would your people do if all of a sudden there was no white people on the earth? What would be the first we thing? We kill each other, man. It's, what it's what like would be that. the first thing you guys would do or take? Lighter black if we, people if would we be just, the enemy. If, if we just went, yeah, we, if white yeah. people just disappeared, I don't know. Because it's such a, for this country, I don't know about the rest of the world, but for this country, if black people disappeared or if white people disappeared, both of us, we coexist in that plane. We need each yeah. other to feel that kind of hatred we have for each other. It's such a vague, blind hatred we, that yeah. we love to have. I love not liking white people. It's fun. You like white you people. You niggas make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> He's right, though. It is fun. It's just, it is what yeah. it is. What the fuck are you going to do without us? We'll end with this. There's nothing more fun than opening up the newspaper and seeing that someone was shot and killed at the 50 Cent movie. <laughs> it really makes Whitey go, ah, see? <laughs> we must... Uh, we must put things in their popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> we must. The movies are dangerous. We must thing. put but poison on their locks that they're trying to lock us out of their lives. Uh, did you see that at the Fitty movie? Somebody got shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> First day out. <laughs> First fucking day out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that I, guy didn't get the memo because it wasn't a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> nope. White guy, this is, yeah, you know what? That's what happened. If we got rid of white people, no more memos. Yeah. White people in charge of memos. <laughs> the fucking memos, and not one of the memos has ever slipped out. We're very good with those memos.